Welcome to lecture 45, Params Keyword. So the Params Keyword stands for Parameter Array. And it's all it deals with passing an array into a function. Now we've already saw one example of passing an array to a function, but we're going to look at a couple more here because the Params Keyword allows you to do something special. We've actually already seen the Params Keyword in action and I will point out where that actually happens. Let's start off by building a function that prints all the values of an array. So the function's job would be, will be just to print the value of an array to a console. Um, it can take in any integer array will do. So we'll say public static void print array. And like I said, it will take in any integer array. And the job of it is just to print. So we can use a for each loop or a for loop. I'll just use a for loop. I'll say for int i equals zero. As long as i is less than array dot length i plus plus console dot right line array sub i. So whatever the array's length is, it will automatically print every single element in it. So anytime I have an integer array and I want to print it, I can just call this function instead of having to create this code over and over and over again every time I want to print something. So let's see how it works. Let's create an array. So I'm going to say int my array. Oops. Int my array equals 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, semicolon. And I'm going to say print array, passing in an integer array called my array. Let's see what happens. As you can see, it says 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So every single time I will have an any, any array, it doesn't have to be the same array. It could be any integer array. I can pass it into here, and it will be able to print every element of it every single time. So that's that's the basics of passing an array into a function. Now, the, pra the params keyword is used with arrays, but it's slightly different. It still allows you to do this same concept here, but it allows you to add more power to passing arrays in. And we've already seen this many times, but we you really haven't noticed it. For example, let me show you where. Console.WriteLine, hello. When we use console.WriteLine, we can use placeholders. So we can say 0, 1, 2, 3, up to any, I could do it forever if I want. So right here, I have four placeholders. So if I actually wanted to put values into it, I need to say comma, okay, I'll do five, six, seven, eight. And these will get added into it, five, six, seven, eight. However, these, we now know from functions that these commas are separate parameters or separate arguments. So that means that somewhere there's a function defined that takes in a string and four integers. But then what happens if I go and add, you know, four, five, six, I add another three, and then I add, okay, nine, nine, 10, 11. So I keep on adding these values. So this, this function, console.write line, how does it have every single possibility defined? Saying, okay, now it takes in a string and I don't even know how many integers, seven integers. So now it has seven integers built into it because these are all arguments. And basically that means there must be a function somewhere that has all of these parameters or it wouldn't work. But technically that's, that's not what's happening. They're actually cheating a little bit by using the params, the params keyword. What the params does is it allows you to enter in any amount of arguments, any amount of arguments, five, 10, 15, a thousand, any amount. And when those arguments get to the function, they get put all together into an array. They, go, they get packed together into an array. So what's happening with console.writeLine is all of these parameters are basically getting packed in. And then when console.writeLine gets it, it's basically all in an array. And then they access the parameters through an array. Like this is the first element in the array, the second, third, fourth. And that's what allows you to do this kind of syntax. So if I just do a comma here real quick just to show you, it does say params. See, 
params object array. That's what it's saying. That params keyword allows you to enter in this any amount of parameters. So if I tried to do that right now with my print array, so if I did another one, let's say print array, and then we said 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that, I'm going to get an error right now because it's saying there is no function that takes in all of these integers. The only function that has print array takes an entire array, not all these separate integers. So the way to fix this is I can attach the params keyword, like I was saying, to this right there, and boom, the error is gone. By attaching that params keyword, when all of these get entered in, it then they all get attached and they go all get grouped together into this array right here, and then you can use do whatever you want with the array. So I can have an infinite amount of arguments now. As I keep on entering them in, it does not complain. It just says, okay, this is the params int array, and it can take in any amount of arguments. And they'll all just get packed into the array, and then when it's used down there, everything will be fine. But when you have the params keyword, you can also still pass in the array as a whole like this. So I do have an array. I can still pass in the entire thing. The params keyword just allows me to do this kind of syntax. So if I run that, we can see everything's getting printed fine. So this is very useful. Like console.write line is using it for their for their stuff, um, string.format, and there's a lot of other things that actually use it. Um, but it is very powerful in cases in situations like this.